Throughout our lives in school, and especially these last couple of years before we graduate, we are asked many questions. Like, what are we going to do when we're older? Where are you going to work? Are you going to college? If so, where? What's after graduation? And we ask God questions like, Who have you called me to be? What's my purpose? Is there a perfect will for my life? In Jeremiah chapter 1, God calls Jeremiah. He says in verse 5, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee and ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Jeremiah's life and ministry was obviously ordained by God, but does that mean that God has a perfect will for my life? In Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, this is God speaking to Israel. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Because of the new covenant, this means that God is speaking to us as well. So our perfect God really does have a perfect will for our lives. How do we make sure we are in the will of God and that every step we take is in alignment with His desires? I don't believe we should live stressed out over every decision. However, we must live soberly minded, for every decision we make could affect our lives forever. The way to make sure that we are in the perfect will of God is to acknowledge Him in all our ways that He would direct our paths. Take it to the Lord in prayer. The Bible says He will, but we have to acknowledge Him. The Bible says, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally. He will give us wisdom, but we must ask him. Romans chapter 8 verse 14 says, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. I've heard many people describe walking in the Spirit as a God consciousness. So once again, acknowledging him in all our ways at all times. A benefit of us having the Holy Ghost is that it leads us and directs us in where we should go and what we should say. Another way we can discern the will of God for our life is to read His Word. Psalms 119.105 says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. God's Word is a light and a lamp to every step. It can order our steps and it can teach us to learn His voice if we are consistent in it. How can we expect daily bread if we do not come to His table? In the Bible, we, God's people, are compared to a sheep and God the shepherd. Sheep are completely dependent on their shepherd. They wander aimlessly without their shepherd there to guide them. Sheep also have a relationship with their shepherd and they know his voice. John 10 and 27 says, My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. We have to be tuned to God's voice. He will never lead us astray. I've heard it once said that the rod of a shepherd hits back every enemy and the staff pulls us back to where he wants us to be. In Psalm 23, it says that his rod and staff comfort me. We should find comfort in our Savior, knowing he will protect us, but we also have to have comfort in his correction. Take correction and apply it. He's trying to pull us back in alignment with him. We hope that through this video, you found that your perfect God really does have a perfect will for your life. And if you find yourself in a season where you don't know what to do, you don't know where to go, and nothing is making sense, just remember, 1 Corinthians 2 and 9 says, But as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. No!